Hello, this is Adam Zerker with Hicks and Zerker Capital Management. Today I'm going to talk to you about our uh, February 2015 economic update. We're going to look at the events of January and how those events might impact you as an investor. January was a very volatile month for stocks, largely because of events overseas. There was a realization that the U.S. economy is doing well, but global growth may be uh, impacted. Oil was the dominant conversation in January. Oil continued to slide and by the end of the month it was down 60% from prices last June. Low oil um, surely helps consumers at the gas pump as gasoline prices have come down. At the end of uh, December the average uh, price of gas per gallon in the country was $2.61. Uh, this obviously helps households put more money in their pocket but the concern is that uh, we, it might be a symptom of a weakening economy. It also impacts uh, drillers, and so some drillers have already laid off, come, laid off employees and they've stopped spending money on capital expenditures. Uh, the global growth picture is weak, so both the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank have cut their estimates for global economic growth in 2015. Central, central banks around the world are taking action, and uh, some have also responded uh, with some major moves. Here in the U.S., the Fed is thinking about raising interest rates. Uh, we don't know exactly when they might do so, uh, but they've indicated that it's likely that the Fed will raise rates yet this year, uh, probably in, uh, sometime in the second half of the year. The European Central Bank also announced their own bond buying program in hopes to boost economic growth in Europe. Uh, the Bank of Canada voted to drop interest rates to help uh, fight the effects of oil prices on its exports. So what does all this mean for you as an investor? Well, the U.S. and the rest of the world are on diverging paths. Here in the U.S., we're moving towards healthy economic growth, while many economies overseas are struggling. The big question is, will a strong U.S. economy be enough to pull the world out of a slump? Well, here in the U.S., uh, the news is, is brighter than the rest of the world. We got our first look at fourth quarter GDP. The first estimate showed that GDP grew 2.6% during the fourth quarter, which is uh, lower than we expected. This is also um, a bit of a drop um, from the 5% uh, GDP growth that we saw in the third quarter. But the good news is that consumer spending was higher, which means that Americans are still buying. January, we began to see fourth quarter earnings reports from companies uh, in the U.S. and uh, we're starting to see things uh, pretty much are in line with previous quarters. Uh, not good, not, not particularly bad, but not great either. Uh, reports from 188 companies so far out of the S&P 500 have shown 6.6 percent earnings growth uh, over the fourth quarter from a year ago. Total revenues are up just 2.4 percent so that it, we're, we're seeing that companies are still struggling um, with demand. Uh, there are a lot of individual success stories out there. There are some companies that are doing quite well and prospering in, the, in this uh, environment. And that's our job every day is to uncover those opportunities for our clients. Looking ahead this year, we would say you should expect more volatility from the market this year than we've seen in the past. Last year was the first year in history where the market did not have four days in a row that were down. And we already broke that trend in January. Uh, we think that as investors uh, adapt to the growing divergence between the U.S. and the rest of the world, we'll see some turbulent markets. Those can be stressful, but keep in mind they often present great opportunities. And we here at Hicks and Zerker will always be monitoring markets to find those opportunities for our clients. So that's it for today's economic update. Um, I want to thank you for tuning in. Just remember that nothing here is a recommendation. If you have any specific questions or if you'd like to discuss your personal situation, please give us a call at 419-425-2400. Again, this is Adam Zerker with Hicks and Zerker Capital Management signing off for the month of February 2015.